Hi, I'm Becky Nunn, owner and creator of the Patera Jewelry Finding Line. Patera is Latin for ornamental amulet and are cast in the United States. In this segment, designer Mary Lynn Maloney will be rubber stamping, painting, and using our UV resin on our Patera raised tags to create another fabulous project. Enjoy! Now I'll show you a different technique for rubber stamping using a painted background and then I'll show you two glossy finishes. For this project I'll be using a small glass of water, my paintbrush, some pink acrylic paint, the Patera small square raised tag, black stays on ink, our mini butterfly rubber stamp, our large leaves rubber stamp, some acrylic varnish, our gel de soleil UV resin, along with the UV lamp. The first thing I'm going to do is apply some of this pink paint onto the Patera raised tag. And I'm just going to squeeze a drop or two on there. Take my paintbrush, get that paint out of the way and simply brush it on. If you get any on the frame or it goes over onto the side, you can easily just wipe it away with your finger or a paper towel. If you want your color very opaque and dark, let this coat dry and then paint another coat on top of it. I have one here that's all ready. So the next thing I'm going to do is some rubber stamping on top of the pink. The first stamp I'm going to use is my mini butterfly and I'm using the black stays on ink. Just tap it a few times on there. Come straight down on top of the paint. Press firmly, don't rock the stamp, and pull it straight up. There's my butterfly. Now I want a little something extra near the bottom of the piece. So I'm going to ink up just a portion of my large leaves and just hit that bottom corner. And there I go. Now my stamped Patera piece is finished, but I do need to seal it. So I'd like to show you two different ways of getting a protective glossy finish. The first is with an acrylic varnish. Very simple. I'll just paint it on with my paintbrush. one thin coat over my decorated piece and I'll just set it aside to dry. Now I'd like to show you how to use the Gel de Soleil UV resin to give your piece a beautiful domed glossy finish. So I simply pour it on and it's about the consistency of honey and then I'll twirl it around so that the gel goes to all the edges of the raised patera. It takes a little while. If you tip it a little too far, it will run over the edge, but you can just easily wipe that off with your finger or a paper towel. Now I'll put my piece in the UV lamp to cure. It takes about 20 minutes, and when it's done, it has a beautiful, thick, durable, glossy finish. Now that your Patera piece is cured, it's time to get creative. You can put it all together with the Patera findings and chains of your choice and make a great piece of jewelry.